Hey guys, welcome back to Tech Core Duo. In this video, I'm gonna go over showing you how to zip a file and or folder. Uh, this is gonna be using two different methods. One's going to be using the built-in Windows uh, archiver or compressor. And the other one's going to be downloading 7-zip and installing that and using that, which has a lot more options and extraction options for you to use. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is go ahead and you have your sample files here. If you just right click on that file, go to send to, compressed zip folder it's going to go ahead and create the folder for you it's that simple depending on the file size it will take a little bit longer so all you need to do from here is you can double click on it and there it is so you can open this up you can move this around you can extract it if you want to you can click extract all you can move it out of the folder uh, i already have the file name of course there and that's pretty much it so if you hit extract all it's going to extract it to your desktop and it's going to go directly into its own folder and it's pretty straightforward so it's the exact same thing for a folder let's say i have this with an example.txt i'm just going to throw this in there too i can right click send to compress as a folder and here it is just made it directly on my desktop pretty quickly of course, like I said, depending on the file size, it will take longer to compress or how many files you have in there. But that's pretty straightforward, pretty easy. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to use 7-Zip. So go ahead and head to 7-Zip.org forward slash download .html here. So you can always go to 7-Zip.org, click the download button on the side. So right here, you can download the newest version, 19, click the MSI download. This is the 64-bit version. Double check your machine and make sure you're either running 64-bit or 32 and download the appropriate version. I downloaded the 64-bit. So I'm just gonna minimize this. We're gonna run the installer. We're just gonna next all the way through, leave that as default, and then install. Now while this is installing, I'm just gonna go ahead and clear this out. I'm just gonna move that out of the way. All right, so now we have 7-Zip on our computer. We can right-click on a file, head down to 7-Zip, and then you can do Add to Archive. You have other items here as well, if you wanted to compress and email all at the same time. But if you just do Add to Archive, it's gonna ask you where you wanna save the file, what you want the file name to be. You can choose different archive formats here. Zip is fine also, and it gives you a compression level. You can even uh, encrypt it with a password as well. So some people like to encrypt it too, if they're sending something um, important to other people, if they're emailing it to others, they would put a password on here and then send that off. So I'm gonna go ahead and just click okay. And there you go. It made the example.zip all through 7-zip. And then if you want to open it up, you can right click on it, 7-zip, open archive. And it's gonna go ahead and open up an archive. Let me just bring it over to that screen there. That looks just like this. And this is the 7-zip. Click on it, you can extract it, browse to wherever you wanna drop it off to. Click okay. Of course, I already have a file there named example.txt. We'll just click say yes. And it's gonna just refresh it and extract it onto my desktop. So it's pretty straightforward. If you guys have any questions about either program um, or encryption or so on, just let us know in the comments below. Hope this was informative for you guys and take care.